video we're going to explain how to put LED bulbs into your door handle. If I were to do this again, maybe I'd put it here. Um, just have to make sure that where you put it isn't going to interfere, interfere with the window. Um, I put it here just because I thought it would be out of the way. But the problem I'm having is water comes down, sits on these waterproof LED bulbs and uh, burns them out. So I've had to replace them. Uh, this would be my third time replacing them now. You know, I'll walk you through how to take the door panel off um, and do the wiring. I wired it into the courtesy lights so that when you open the door up, lights kick on. You know, there's a there's hundred ways to do this. Uh, this is just the way that I did it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys get some kind of uh, information or inspiration to go out and do this to your own truck or SUV. Okay, so I'm using one of these Eagle Eye LED bulbs. This brand isn't a very good brand. I've had to replace this two times now. So if you don't want to keep uh, replacing them, Get a better brand so i'm also going to be using these um and this so because i have to replace them so many times i just figured it would be easier to use these you know these just plug right in you know and then you can unplug them um they have a heat shrink you don't you don't need to do this you you can you know you can solder the wires in you can twist them together wrap them with electrical tape um you could use uh, butt connector which I used I think the first time I think the second time I just twisted them together and put electrical tape on there um, but you can use one of these also but uh, guys this is how I'm doing it so you know uh, you don't have to follow me exactly I'm just giving you the rough idea of, of how to do this so um, these I don't like these so the wires are, are so thin. Um, it's hard to yeah, it's hard to get anything. There you go. Strip the wire with your teeth. If you got a big gap in your teeth like me, then it's pretty easy to do. Um, this I'm just testing to see if this one working good. Yeah, you could just test it with a little Milwaukee 12 volt. Works pretty good. Um, so we're going to go put this in the truck and you know, this, this will probably go bad in a couple months, get good quality led bulbs and, and you won't have to replace them. These were, you know, for a pack of 10, I think it was like nine bucks or something. So just get yourself good quality bulbs and you won't have to go through this struggle. Let's get to it. To remove the door panel, you need, uh, some kind of ratchet gun with a seven millimeter socket on there screwdriver phillips head and then i like to use these little pocket screwdrivers it's good just to like get in here and you know pop these off so this literally just pops off these two clips hold it in throw that away and then this get behind there with the screwdriver that just pulls right off also and this rod right here goes inside here. That's how your door locks work. Okay, so there's a screw here. And then under here, there is a seven millimeter Phillips head here. Also pop this off. Just this piece slides down. These two hold it in place. Okay, I believe that's it. You just pull up on this. This is a newer style door panel. Okay. So, there's some wiring behind here. Um, there's a plug here, plug here, plug here. Yours might be totally different depending on what options you have. I mean, this. This door panel is from an Escalade. And the truck's a Silverado, so I kind of had to make that work. This is also a 2000 Silverado. The electronics from the 03 and up are totally different. 
So there's really a lot of things that I had to make work. Um, for example, this is my 2000 um, original well, window switch. So to mount this thing in there, because you know, escalators look totally different. So I just use a screw here into the factory location hole. This clip holds it in, and then also I use a screw here. Right in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I tell I lied to you. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter also. There's three bolts that hold this door handle on. We want to take the door handle off um, to replace the light because the light is drilled into the door handle. So there's two bolts. There's one inside this hole. There's one right about here. I just reach my hand in there with a wrench and then I just loosen it up and then I can get it by hand. Then there's another one right here. So just be careful you don't drop it in the door. I mean, if you do, it's really not that big a deal. You can grab it. it. Just takes a little bit more time. The other one's inside here. Okay. And then the third one, I get with a wrench, which I didn't grab. Okay, lied to you again. Another uh, important tool to have is a light. So I just reach my hand in there, get it with my wrench, really easy to do guys. I'm sure if you, know, you guys are wondering, you'll be able to see this once you stick your head in the door panel. It'll be a little bit easier to see and show you once I get the door handle off. Got to kind of bedangle it here a little bit. Okay, here's one. Here's how to get this off. Little pin here. Just pop it up. This comes right off. So there's another one right here. That one went here. It's out. It's kind of just hanging there. Notice how I routed this came down, went around this little clip. You don't have to do this. Whatever is gonna keep this uh, this wire away from the window. You have to you have to remember the window is coming down here. So you have to get you you want to keep this wire away from here. So that was my way of doing it. So we're just gonna let this thing like kinda hang here until we get the wire out probably gonna fall and to make this a lot easier um, I basically just you know pulled pulled the whole entire wiring harness out really easy you know just pull up on these tabs pop it out pull up pop it out pull up pop it out so um you really go in one way you know what I mean there, you can't mess this up so you don't have to worry about you know which one came from where the door handle just fell called it not a big deal you know just scratching my paint here's the door handle so it would be sitting in the door like this you have a screw here 10 millimeter you have a, a screw a bolt here 10 millimeter and then you have a screw a bolt here 10 millimeter so three bolts holding this thing on then you have this for your door lock this for your door handle okay very simple this is how I put this thing in here so drilled a hole uh, 
I believe it was a half inch hole, but you know, your LED might, your LED light might be different than mine. So you have to find the drill bit that is, you know, as wide as this. Drill a hole. You can put it here, I believe. Um, I just chose to put it right here because I thought that would be uh, the best out of the way. So that's how I did it. Anyways, um, I'm going to mess around with the wiring. I highly recommend this snap-on. Here's the part number. It's a test light, and it uses your body as the ground. So if you want to test which one of these have power, I'm almost positive it's the orange one, is your power. Pretty cool, huh? So orange is your power wire. So this is your, this is your LED light. They give you a good bit. So you're basically going to run this. I just cut this. I cut this. This is the old one. So you're going to run this wire down this wiring harness down to here. Okay. Right here is this, these two wires. Okay. You're going to wire this LED into these wires. So this is your door light. This is the light that would sit right here in the door panel. Your orange wire is the power wire. Okay. So you want to hook your red positive wire from your LED into down here. Down here. So once you do that, somehow, there's different ways of, of doing this. Then you hook your ground up to the white wire. Somewhere in this area. Somewhere in this area. Then you just, you know, electrical tape all the way up. Make sure you leave this pin out. You know, make sure you leave this pigtail out. Connectors. Okay, right here. Somewhere in here. We're going to tape them up right there so they're out of the way. And then we're going to have plug our LED bulb in, run it, run it to the door panel. Okay, so for these, um, I like to take off the little plastic piece. I don't know how well that's going to come up in the in the video, but yeah, I like to take off this little plastic piece. Just makes it a little bit easier for me because those these these ones are not heat shrink, um, so that's that's why I'm saying that. But really easy, just pull them off like that. Two pairs of pliers, and uh, yeah, you just see how tiny these wires are. I just I just don't like it. I wish it was like. I don't know, 16 gauge or something. Anyhow, you know, jamming on in there. But yeah, I wish it was. I wish it was a thicker gauge. It would make it a lot easier. Crimp it. Make sure you get a good crimp. Cause these things, you know, they tend to fall off. Now, um, you can heat shrink this you know you can put you know one of these on you know, you'd, you'd slide it on put your crimp on and you know then you'd use your your lighter you know light it up and it looks a lot better you know it looks professional i'm i'm not a professional i i don't care i just i just want the thing to work i just wanted to go you know be really easy to remove, really easy to take off, and uh, I feel like, you know, since I do this so many times, uh, you know, since since I do it so many times, I just want it to be easy, uh, easy to remove, easy to get to. Um, hoping, you know, we'll see how long these last. Uh, I don't know if it's, you know, they say waterproof. Okay, that's why I bought these. Um, let me let me, just, let me just start off by saying these are not waterproof. I got these because they were waterproof and uh, the water gets in there, LED bulb burns out. So I'm, um, you know, I'm going to leave a nasty review, real nasty review. It's probably not going to be that nasty, but I was just going to say, hey, these suck. Just want to make sure you get a good crimp, you know, good, good tug and you're good to go. You know, you're you're gonna put the electrical tape on there. 
So again, these are really tiny wires. You know, if this, if this was 16 gauge, I would probably be soldering it in so I didn't have to worry about it. But it's just such a tiny wire. I don't know why they made it so tiny, but it is what it is. Cheap bulbs, don't get cheap bulbs. Don't get cheap bulbs. I have, I have a whole drawer full of cheap bulbs. You'd think after the third or fourth time of getting cheap bulbs and them not, you know, burning out. I would stop getting them, but you know, can't fix stupid. So uh, here I'm just, you know, wrap, wrapping this up with electrical tape. Not a big deal. Yeah, this isn't really even something you guys need to see. You guys know how to do this. Moment of truth. Stay on? Oh, it's still on. All right, so we know that the window didn't contact the wires. So you just gotta make sure that those wires are out of the way. 